to the Minister of Housing. What recent announcement has he made about the direction of social housing in New Zealand? The Hon. Phil Heatley. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Today I announce the overarching decisions in response to the recommendations of the Housing Shareholders Advisory Group. It has become apparent uh, that the status quo for the provision of state housing is no longer sustainable and we need to make some significant changes. As such, the Government will be acting on many of the Group's key recommendations. These include working closely with the third sector to grow the to total quantum of social housing in New Zealand, the end to a state house for life and the introduction of reviewable tenancies to, for all housing New Zealand tenants from 1st of July 2001, that's new tenants, not current ones, and placing responsibility for housing-related policy with one agency. Tim McIndoe. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Supplementary to the Minister of Housing. What will the introduction of reviewable tenancies mean for new Housing New Zealand tenants? The Hon. Phil Heatley. Uh, Mr Speaker, this Government is committed to providing a house for those in need for as long as that need exists, and the introduction of reviewable tenancies means that from 1 July next year all new tenants will have their tenancy periodically reviewed. For many, their need for a state house will be a long-term situation and they will be housed for as long as that needs exists. However, for those who have seen a significant improvement in their circumstances, uh, we'll work with them to find alternative accommodation. That might be in the community housing sector, it might be in the private sector. But once reviewable tenancies have been implemented for new tenants, consideration will also be given to an extending this to current tenants, although the elderly uh, and those who are disabled significantly uh, would not go on to reviewable tenancies. To make Further note. supplementary. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. To the Minister, how does the government plan to grow the third sector? The Honourable Phil Heatley. Oh, Mr. Speaker, we'll be working with the community housing uh, sector over the coming months to, to find the best ways to address the current constraints that challenges their growth. Uh, we know they can successfully provide housing. They're ready, willing, and able, and we're ready, willing, and able to help them. These providers can leverage funding and assets from a broad range of sources. They have wide skills, specialisation and services, and are often more competitive and innovative than when it comes to design and production. So we want to support them, and we will. Moana Maggi. Supplementary to the Minister, if he's prepared to exempt pensioners from any reviewable tenancies, regardless of their means, will he also exempt families with young children attending local schools, given the negative impact such disruption can have on educational achievement? The Hon. Phil Heatley. Uh, Mr Speaker, we've said that any new tenants coming in from the 1st of July next year will be uh, on reviewable tenancies. Uh, what we're saying about current tenants, uh, current tenants going on to reviewable tenancies is that the elderly and seriously disabled can expect not to have to go on reviewable tenancies. In terms of families, they'll be going on reviewable tenancies, but of course they may need to remain in their state home if their need persists. If their circumstances improve, then clearly they will be moved out of state housing into community housing or private housing. Question number six, Brendan Burns. 